Welcome to another uh, video from MicroStrategy Rooster. Today we're going to talk about consolidations. Consolidations are um, pretty much uh, buckets for attributes. If you want to think about them, they are uh, virtual attributes. So they allow you to put things together. In MicroStrategy Tutorial, you have seasons as an example, where they, for example, put everything from January February and December into a winter, March, April, May, we're spring, etc. So they were able to create seasons. And you can also bundle uh, years, you bundle any kind of attributes, and you can actually create some math in your uh, consolidation. So let's do a simple consolidation. And let's do, let's call it 2008 and 2009 and my custom go to time year say 2008 and I added a plus sign there 2009 it's valid automatically validates it for you create another element and call it 2008 uh, let's see so the first one with 2008 plus 2009 the sum and this is 2008 let's do divided by 2009 so we'll take the ratio Oops. let's drag this over 2008 divided by 2009 Okay, so I created a sum of the two and a, a relationship, a ratio between both. A uh, few things you want to do is, do you want to allow subtotals? It's disabled. You don't want to allow subtotals if you have something like this, like a division. You might want to allow it if you have something like added, that's additive or subtractive. So for now, let's keep it by default. It's disabled. Let's make the colors for this one. The, the one you're highlighting is the one you're editing. So in this case, let's make that color. Uh, let's make the color green. Okay. This one, let's go to the formatting. Have a value. This one, let's color it blue. Or that's not a good blue. Here's a blue. And let's give this one is additive, so I want to enable the subtotal. This one is not, so I want to disable. Okay. See. If I disable this one, it's disabling for both and enabling for both. So subtotal property controls both. The formatting is separate. When you have something like this, you want to probably keep it disabled, okay? So disabled. And obviously, this will automatically disable. You can't enable and disable the other one. We just tried that a minute ago. So disable when you have something that's not additive, like division. Otherwise, you're going to get... Uh, unexpected values in your subtotal. Let's save and close this. Let's call it my mixed 2008 and 2009. I called it mixed because I have a division and an addition. Let's create a report. Let's do something like revenue. So let's bring in my consolidation my mixed and let me bring in a metric all right let's see what happens so I have my 2008 and 2009 the sum and the division so you're gonna look at this and think wait one dollar what's that well remember this is a division and this is currency so I have to change the formatting. So what do I do? Now this is this is going to get really, really annoying and tricky. Where do you change the formatting to make sense out of this? Well, the best place to go is change it here, right? So let's edit the consolidation. And here, format the value to be a percent. Save and close. 
let's save the report and call it my test consolidation. So let me run my test consolidation, see why. There you go. So my formatting. So I told the consolidation to treat this as a percent when it displays it and to treat this as default, which was a currency. So you've got to be careful about formatting. It's a little bit annoying. You, want, you don't want to format in the report. You want to make sure the formatting is done at the consolidation level such that this makes sense. Let's look at the SQL of this report. It should be very simple because MicroStrategy is going to do everything in the analytical engine. Get the year, get the revenue for the years of 2008 and 2009. So you're wondering where's that consolidation, that division, where's all that happening? There it is, calculate consolidation. It is done in the analytical engine. It's an analytical step, not a SQL step. MicroStrategy just needs this data and it'll do the rest for you. So that's pretty neat, right? All you have to do is identify. So the consolidation is virtual, like I said. This is the true value, 2008, 2009 revenue. The consolidation is virtual, meaning it doesn't happen in the SQL. It happens after the SQL is pulled together. Let's go back here to my grid. Let's try to add a subtotal, see if it makes sense. I warn you, see, look, it says one consolidation is not allowed. It's giving you a warning. Let's say you go ahead and add it anyways. What does it say? There you go. Doesn't work. Because we told it to not allow. Remember, I disabled it. So even though I manually go and add the subtotal, Maksha is protecting me from myself and saying, you're not allowing it. I want it allowed, I'll have to edit this guy. Let's save and close. I want to see the subtotal, but you know, I want to fix my mixed consolidation. I don't want a division. Let's say I do subtraction. There we go. Let's do a subtraction. Subtraction is additive, right? It's no, validate. There we go. Now it changed it. When I say additive, even a division is technically additive, but the subtotal in my strategy at the analytical engine gets really uh, thrown off, and you have to go into the data, the report data options, and change the evaluation order, which we're not going to talk about now. It's a little bit uh, confusing and over the top, but there are ways to manipulate it such that you can get the results you want. But I'm keeping this to the important stuff. So here I made a subtraction. Remember that format? Got to return it from. It's no more percent. It's back to a fixed or a currency, or whatever you want it to be and save and close and now let's test our report all right so now we don't have percents but we still don't have a subtotal do you know why because we forgot to enable it and that is my fault so here we go i'm going to edit it one last time right click and enable Remember, it does it for both. So doing it one place does it for both. Save and close. And now I expect to see that mysterious subtotal reappear. And there it is. Obviously, this doesn't make sense. Saying add them and then subtract them and then add the two values. Um, so in this case, it's just like a dummy subtotal. But it's showing you the idea what it's doing. It's here is the adding the revenues, here's the difference between the revenues, and here's just the, um, and this one has different decimals, it's different formatting, different colors, so you, you have a lot of control over what's going on. So this is 20 million, this is 2 million, even though this looks longer, this had two decimal places, so just don't be confused by your formatting. If you want to consolidate the formatting, just go here, and let's try to format this guy format the value and say don't default it to whatever the custom consolidation is reformat it as currency with two decimals and boom everything now becomes unified we're able to do this now because these mean the same thing they're both currency but if 
in the previous example, this was a division, it was percentage, that wouldn't have made sense for us to do. So this concludes my consolidation uh, demonstration today. It's very easy, consolidations are very simple and uh, they're not, they don't see too much usage uh, just because people depend on what, in, what is available in the data warehouse rather than creating these virtual uh, groupings. But here you go, you have now another tool in your tool set that you can take advantage of. Thank you again.